Welcome to a storybook read aloud by Language Liftoff. We are reading Emma Wren, Junior Paleontologist, written by Jenny Liu and illustrated by George Sweetland. Let's begin. Emma looked out the window as the bus pulled up to the Natural History Museum. Everyone was excited to see fossils and learn about dinosaurs, but Emma wasn't so sure. All the dinosaurs she had seen on TV were big and loud and hungry. The truth was, dinosaurs scared her. Emma followed the class inside, trying to stay close to the others. But as they turned the corner, she came face to face with a colossal skeleton. Emma let out a little shriek. The dinosaur looked big enough to eat her in one bite. Yes, a T-Rex, Jake shouted. Hey, Emma, did you know T-Rexes were one of the biggest meat eaters? They could grow up to 40 feet in length. The T-Rex could take down anything. Roar! Emma jumped as Jake lunged at her. At the front of the line, Mrs. Lee turned around. Okay, Jake, that's enough roaring, she said, before guiding the children into the lab room. This is Miss Anning, and she's a paleontologist. That's a scientist who studies plants and animals that lived long before humans. That's right, Mrs. Anning said. But today, I'm not the only paleontologist here. Today, you all get to be paleontologists, too. Miss Anning explained how to use the tools, and the class started examining shells, digging through rocks, and opening up owl pellets to see what was inside. Emma watched as her classmates picked and hammered away. Peering down at her own table, she wrinkled her nose. What's so great about digging up old bones and fossils anyway? Just then, Jake handed her a chalky, grimy, jagged chunk of dirt the size of a small melon. Okay, Emma, you hold on to the piece of dirt and I'll start digging. Eek! Emma reached out to touch it, then quickly pulled her hand back. What's wrong? asked Jake. Dinosaurs are scary, and bones are even scarier, Emma admitted. Jake smiled at Emma. Scary? No way. These old bones are called fossils. They give us clues about the past. They are what's left of plants and animals that lived a long time ago. Some of them aren't even bones. They're just the shapes of bones and plants left in a rock. Jake waited for Emma to take the dirt. When she didn't, he said, Tell you what, I'll hold the dirt and we can do it together. Emma nodded, swallowing a lump in her throat. That sounded good. With Jake's help, Emma gently picked away at the hard dirt surrounding their fossil. Use this brush to sweep away the loose pieces, said Jake. Emma did as he said, and a pointy-shaped piece began to appear. Jake's eyes sparkled, and he giggled with delight as Emma brushed away more of the dirt. Anyone found anything yet? asked Miss Anning. We have, Jake exclaimed. Emma, can you hold the claw while I explain what we found? Emma looked at the object in Jake's hand. Taking a deep breath, she picked it up. This claw belonged to a velociraptor. Jake said. I can tell because it's sickle-shaped. Velociraptors grew to about three feet tall and may have been the smartest and fastest dinos out there. That's correct, Jake and Emma, Miss Anning smiled. Isn't it amazing to hold something in your hands that lived millions and millions of years ago? Emma looked down at the claw in her hand. 
it was kind of exciting. Maybe dinosaurs weren't so scary after all. You know, she said to Jake, I think maybe I'm ready to see one of the coolest dinosaurs of them all. The one with armor plates all along its back and a tail with four sharp spikes? All right, Jake shouted. Let's do it. Emma bolted towards the exit. Last one to the Stegosaurus is a rotten dino egg. The end. Here are some bonus book pages. Be sure to check them out in the book, which is linked in the description box below. You'll learn about tools that paleontologists use, paleontology vocabulary, and about Mary Anning, who is celebrated as one of the greatest fossil hunters of all time. I hope you enjoyed reading with me today. Goodbye!